So I want to try one more experiment, in which I'm going to put the wire down at the bottom of a bottle here. I'm going to fill this with mercury, and then I'm going to put this electric current through the mercury itself and see if the mercury will spin. All right, here we go. Electricity on. It appears to be spinning. How about that? It makes sense, because now the electricity is going through the mercury. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, because now the electricity is going straight through the mercury, and the magnet is taking those electrons which are going down and deflecting them around in a spiral, making the mercury spin. That's cool. Let's go ahead and see what happens if I hook both electrodes up at the surface of the mercury. The electrons are deflected at a right angle from their motion because of the magnet. This applies a force to the mercury, causing it to move. This is actually similar to how railgun works. Okay, salt water solution is in place. Let's go ahead and run the electricity and see if it spins like the mercury did. Now instead of electrons, we have hydronium and hydroxide ions flowing through the solution. Since they have a charge, they are also deflected by the magnet. Positively charged hydronium clockwise, and hydroxide ions counterclockwise. If you'd like to learn more about how electricity is deflected by a magnet and how this was used to make the world's first electric motor, please check out this video that I did last summer. Link here and in the description. I'll see y'all next time.